everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Cold and rainy conditions. The forecast for today's game between the Florida Gators and the Texas Longhorns. The excitement is building up for the start of this bowl game. It looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. And here come the Longhorns. The Longhorns should win this game as long as they don't make many mistakes. Right, Kirk? Texas will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. Hey, Kirk. AARP isn't calling this one wrong. There's no way Texas loses this game. Put some horns. <laughs> well, Lee, we're about to find out if you're right. Let's join the captains and the referee at midfield. Gilbert drops back. Gilbert delivers. McGee just couldn't bring it in. McGee was the intended receiver on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Four wide receivers. Tebow steps back to pass. Tebow lets it go. He's taken down at the 24. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. And the quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working wide. He rolls out to the left, looking across the middle. They connect again. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week, guys. Yeah, and we get a chance to see it again here. Wow, what a throw. There's the play fake. Looks. He passes it, catches it, and they make the stop at the 28-yard line. They're moving the ball very well. Up. He's rolling left, surveys the field. He takes off. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive. Tebow on the option right. He lateral. Touchdown, Gators. No problem getting six there, guys. I'll tell you what, I don't care what this kid's 40 time is or what he benches. The only reason he found the end zone was because he saw the blocks, used great vision, and then got it into the end zone. Three wide. Look at the throw. Steps up. Tosses short. And it's picked off from the tip. Tackle made at the seven-yard line. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Good call. What a perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation, and that's elevated the level of play for his teammates. If I was a scout, I'd make sure I'd bring lots of notebooks. After a quarter of play, our score is Florida 14, Texas nothing. Gilbert back to throw. Stepping up. He gets rid of it. It's caught off the tip. And he's all the way down. He drops back. Throwing left. His receiver has it. And he's tackled right away. Drops back to pass. Quick toss. And he brings it down. What a collision. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference on the defense. The penalty is the ball. Again, defense hasn't stopped him yet. Gilbert lets it go. The 10. He's all the way down to the four. Shipley gets the call. Black tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. The safety made the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. I recommend to the offensive coordinator a little play action and throw the fade route where the safety used to be. That's 
The kick is up, and it sails to the upright. He steps up. He rolls left. He decides to run with it. He's tackled at the 35. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He's going to try to throw. Right, loses the handle. Scooped up by the defense. What a collision. Nobody was fighting on that one. They were all over it, Kirk. That shows how well coached these guys are, and they did their work in watching the film. They knew there was a chance they'd go for it in that situation, and when they did, it didn't go anywhere. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Got him again. He's all the way down to the third. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. He's looking down the middle, and he gets the touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Fred is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. Bullet right there. Tebow is back in the gun. He's looking for his man. It's intercepted. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime. Florida, 14. Texas, 10. With three wide. It's the tailback. Bubbles the ball. And the defense picks it up. And look at the big guy go. Touchdown, Longhorn. You can score. I love it. It's not that often that these guys get a chance to get into the end zone. It's a very Florida comes out of the shotgun. Tebow will hand it off. Has some daylight. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off to six. Gilbert drops back to pass. Throwing right. Finds his receiver at the 40. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one might be coming back. Here it is. Well, the defense survived the scare that time. Well, if it wasn't for the penalty, the offense wouldn't have been able to get He drops back. Throws in a hurry. And it's the senior. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Gilbert, unload. Jenkins brings him down at the 41-yard line. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. They'll bring him down at the 45. Get to the quarterback. He made them pay right there. He lets it go. Again, it's complete. With that pass, first down. Look at the throw. Throws it. He catches another one. Hill with a takedown at the Spanish yard. Gilbert, back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. He can't miss. Touchdown, Texas! And he managed to find his tight end for his second touchdown reception of the ball game.
He sends it off. James takes it at the 8. Tries to juke. At the 30. At the 40. Down the sideline. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. A spectacular showcase of skills there, guys. Ah, no question. That was one of the most amazing returns I've seen in a long time. What was special about this, Coach, is the fact that he made some nice moves early. And then once he got to the open, you saw his ability to outrun the coverage. Shotgun. McGee, the ball carrier, loses the football. Recovered by the defense. What do you think about the play of that safety, Herbie? And this guy stepped up and made a big play right here for the defense. Nice fumble recovery. Drops back to pass. Looking, and he puts it on the turf. Defense says they've got it. And they do. And they couldn't have asked for a better time for the turnover. Right, Herbie? Well, I'm sure they could have used a couple of these earlier in the game. Gilbert steps back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Number five. Picks it off. And he's tackled at the 34. That interception was aided by the fact that there was a lot of heat on the quarterback. And he was in zone coverage. So as a corner, you just stay in your area and jump on anything. down for a loss. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Florida 35, Texas 24. Gilbert drops back, and he's hit as he throws. And that one's incomplete. Gilbert, he may have been seriously injured on that play. He seems to be favoring his arm. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Shotgun. He rolls out to the right. Looks. He's going to take off. Shifty move there. Across midfield. At the point. Harris loses the handle. And the defense picks it up. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. Florida lines up in the Maryland eye. Kindle comes away with a sack. Back to pass. He steps up. Harris with a fumble. Number 74 falls on the fumble. Well, they avoided a turnover right there. Man, oh, man. Toss right side. Can he get the first? He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. No game on the board. They'll throw on first down. Harris unloads. Defense says they've got it, and they do. What happened there, Coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like he should. And the defender made a nice play to jar it loose. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. And that's the end of the game. Girk, what would you think of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Texas had a few missed opportunities in this game. And I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Florida 35, Texas 24. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.